Here's a quick tip if you uh, if you're running something like uh, an 8 gig RAM laptop uh, today, I th I thought 8 gigs would be enough, but it's not. Uh, and if you're running Linux, you can uh, enable both at runtime and at boot something called uh, set swap. I mean, you can test it at runtime without maybe making any permanent changes to your system. I mean, I'm running Ubuntu here or X Ubuntu, but uh, it's the same here. Uh, this is the Arch Linux uh, wiki. Uh, you can test it like this. Uh, it's also suggested that you uh, switch to LZ4 compression. I mean, it, this is this is a this is like an in-memory. It compresses. I mean, to say it varies. I mean, there's there's more stuff going on here. Uh, uh, but you can view it as it sort of compresses your memory, right? By sort of simulating a. Uh, a swap space partition on your disk, sort of. But it's, yeah, it's done in memory. Um, it depends on a back end swap space to, to connect everything to, together because it, once the, it takes like 20% of your memory and does this, uses the memory to do this, but once that's full, it, it needs a back end swap space to, to uh, put the pages there, sort of. So. And uh, yeah, so you enable you can enable it at runtime using this, and then you switch to to this, and also in particular th this new thing set threefold was a great improvement on my system. You can test this at runtime by by doing. See if I can find it by doing. Uh, what did I do? This. This should enable this at runtime too. So it's still a little bit important that you you have a recent kernel, but I, th I think maybe uh, maybe mine is also too a little bit too old for this. But for now my system is stable because there were some serious bugs. So you can you can Google you can Google around some mailing list and, and you will see that there's some talk about set three fold and there were some serious bugs uh, a, a, a few weeks or maybe months ago now. Uh, but for now my system seems stable and it's way 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 more responsive with all these tabs and all the server software and java stuff and all that crap i'm running on this system it's insane and um and uh yeah to, 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 so if you if you're happy with uh with uh with uh on ubuntu if you're happy with uh with the sort of uh you're testing at the runtime uh i mean you do this at the root of course you do do these things at root, you enable it like that, and you do this here, then set the compressor, and then you do, 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 lastly, you do the thing I just showed you here, uh, this, this here. Uh, once you're happy with all of this, uh, testing it for a while, uh, you can make sure it's kind of, it will always be enabled at runtime by, by, by adding this to your uh, grub file. See, make sure it's located here on Ubuntu. It's etc defaults, and uh, once you're done editing this field file, just run update grub as stated in the file, um, and then then that Linux should enable these things every time you boot your system, right? I'm pretty impressed by this especially with the recent set three fold thing very significant improvement on my system i have a lot of stuff in the background that i just don't use for 15 30 minutes then i need it and it's nice that that it's not always stuck on disk it's it said it's compressed in memory it's just so much faster everything yeah it, you know, I bought a travel laptop with eight gigs of RAM. I, th I thought, that, I thought, I really thought that this would be plenty for a travel laptop or do some work on the road and stuff. Turns out, I use this laptop way more often than I thought I would, and and uh, I don't have a workstation anymore right now. So, <laughs> so, so there's that too. I do I have some servers? But yeah, still like the laptop. But eight gigs is not enough today with with 
but with this it, it, it really helped a lot. I'm still curious about how stable this thing is, so we'll see. Maybe it might be a good idea for me to upgrade my kernel somehow and make sure I get the most recent version of, of, of the set tree fold uh, module and all that stuff. But now this looks great. Uh, just a quick tip this uh, video. Okay, thanks, bye.